Have you ever wondered why owls have always been considered the wisest of the animals? Me too. And in a minute, I've got a story about that, and I'll tell you what these owls have to do with triangles. Hold on. I'm going to be right back. For joining us today for Every Painting Tells a Story. I'm Kimberly Nail Gales and I'm going to share with you in just a moment what owls and triangles might have to do with each other. But if you're enjoying my stories, and I hope that you are, please make sure that you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you know when the next story comes out. I would sure love to hear from you in the comments section as to what you think my stories are and how you think you like them, and what you might be learning from them, and what you might want to hear the next time. When I was wondering about owls the other day, I checked. They're not actually any smarter than any of the other birds, but they've always been considered the wisest. It started back in ancient Greece with Athena. She was the goddess of wisdom, and her familiar was an owl. So, with those big eyes that see everything, and the fact that he was associated with Athena got the owls to be considered the wisest, even though they're not that much better, smarter than the other birds. But you know what they can do? They have some primitive tool use. And what I mean by tool use is that the burrowing owl can actually lure his prey. Pretty darn smart for a bird to actually lure your prey out to catch him. They are pretty smart. Today's painting is called Owl Triangle Family, and I made it for my son, Justin, his wife, Calissa, and our grandbaby, Willow. Let me show you this picture. Hold on. See? Here we have the daddy, the mama, and the baby owl. And what they have here is a triangle family. And these owls are sitting in a dogwood tree, because dogwoods were my favorite when I grew up. Dogwood tree, and it's the night's coming on. You can see the night clouds in the back. Mm -hmm. And as I usually do, I have, this of course is for Justin and Calissa and Willow. But I have prints available of this that are in any size. But I call it a triangle family because they're one and done. They're gonna have our baby Willow and that will be all. Triangle families are a new phenomenon. They're not really that new, but there are a lot of families who are deciding to dedicate their time and their resources to raising just one child and raising that child well. And I applaud them because when you try to stretch your resources over too many children, things, especially your time, now time is a valuable resource, they can spend so much time with Willow that she will be amazing. Now, those of us, and of course I come from a larger family, a lot of people my age did, we worry about the children being lonely, but there are so many triangle families now that they are building a network amongst themselves. Children who have the same triangle families have a lot in common, and they grow to be very, very close friends. And these are my babies. Justin, Calissa, and Baby Willow. And I thank you for listening to my story today. This is our Owl Triangle family. Now I have the part of the story where I show you how I built this painting, how I worked it from the ground up, and you can see my work in progress shots. Let me know what you think of those two, okay? <laughs>
photos of my wonderful little triangle family. about wraps up our story for today, The Owl Triangle Family. I'm Kimberly Nail Gales, and again, if you like what I'm doing here, hit subscribe and ring that bell, and let me know what I, if you'd like to hear anything else. You can also check my website, kstardesign.com, and you can see some of my other pieces that I've done. If there's anything that catches your eye that you'd like to hear the story about, leave that in the comment section, and I'll try to get that one shown for you. I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye.